Oh yeah, check it out. There's a root. And shoot, look at that gorgeous posterior. Wow, that is perfect. A fossil hay from CFA, Ashbigail here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures. Today we are going out to some of the outer dredge islands in Charleston. Uh, we're going to be first hitting up Morris Island. I've got a very good friend of mine that has a boat. He's very graciously agreed to take us out there. So I haven't quite decided yet if I get enough footage out there today, I might make this its own separate video. If not, I will tie this right back into the uh, July footage for Patreon. So let's go ahead, drive on down to the boat landing and see what all we can find. Okay hey guys, we're on material now. Just a quick report of some of the ones that we've gotten so far. So, I'm gonna keep it rolling here and see if any more nice ones pop out while we're filming. I'll try not to make it go up down too much. Yep, there's a blade of a Mako. That one's just a rock. Oh, there we go. That one. Wow, that's an extinct great white. Formerly called a Mako, no longer accepted as a Mako. This is precursor to the great white. Oh, we got another. That one is a true great white there. Has serrations, just like the modern species of today. Yes, sir, we got a lot of good material out here today. Mm, a couple of rocks there. It's got plenty of sand dollars out here. Most of them, unfortunately, are still alive, so we will not be collecting any of those. The rough surf churned a lot of those up onto the beach. And poor things just can't crawl fast enough back into the water. Let's get down to the edge of the shell material here, where we have some more phosphate mixing in. Should see a few more teeth in this stretch. 
Oh, like that one. Look at that. Another extinct great white. So this indicates that a lot of this material is probably from the Miocene Marks Head Formation. Dude, like that. Um, so a lot of these teeth are going to be from Megalodon, but then also that direct precursor to Megalodon, which is the species name Chubutensis. And if you would like to receive the teeth you see me collecting in this video, go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. It is in the link below, and you'll be a lucky recipient of these Meg, Great White, Mako, and more. Whoa, look at that guy. Unfortunately, many of these are going to have some damage to them, but not a bad way to start off the morning. Check that one out. Okay, we got one peeking through the shells right there. Oh, that is a lovely little tooth. Look at that. Probably Chubutensis. It might be a late Angustidens. All right. Oh yeah, look at that one. This is going to be a little chubby tensis. Nice little rounded cusps there.
hustling off to a different section of the beach now, but always have to stop and pick up a tooth if you see it. This one is that extinct great white Carcharodon histalis. Got one right there, and got one right there. Oh, shoot, got one right there. Let's see if we can get another one here in the next few feet. Oh yeah, check it out, there's a root. And shoot, look at that gorgeous posterior. Wow, that is perfect. Now let's see if we can keep the streak going here. Yep, luck right there. A little small one. That one's bone. There's a blade right there. Of a trebutensis. Elk shell looks like a blade. All right, we'll finish up with that one right there. It's a pretty good handful. And that big Meg is still out there waiting. That's a pretty big piece of one there. There's a pretty nice billfish or tuna vertebra. Here's a first for today. This is a tympanic bulla from a dolphin or dolphin-sized whale. That is one of the two larger ear bones inside that creature. Okay, well, I was hoping we would encounter this. You know, we're out here in July, so we are in the middle of loggerhead sea turtle nesting season. And right here, we have an incoming track. Unfortunately, there's this big escarpment, so the sea turtle was not able to put her nest above the high tide line. You can see that's where that is. Um, so she, she hit the wall, unfortunately, and then these are her outbound tracks. So this is the loggerhead sea turtle that came in, which is South Carolina's state reptile. Pretty cool thing to see out here. Would have been a lot cooler, of course, if it was a nest. Well, I just took a break to uh, unload my pouch from all the fossils that I got, and it would appear that I had made a friend. That's a female boat tail grackle. Since she's wildlife, we're going to keep her wild. Sorry girl, not feeding you today. Here's a fun exercise. How many teeth can you see in the frame? We've got one. We've got two. We've got three. And, oh, there's four. There's five. There's six. There's a nice piece of sea glass. There is seven. Oh, wow, there's eight. <laughs> oh my God. All right, not a bad little stop. Okay, we got a chonky boy right here. Look at that. That's a big old Angustidens. Yeah ever get the sense that you're being followed? What? All right, got a dolphin or whale vertebra right there. Looks like a late lumbar or early caudal vertebra. A lovely little Carolina pectin scallop. This is from the Goose Creek limestone, so it's about three to five million years old. But the reason I turned on the camera, got a lovely our Caracles tooth right there. That one is 
either going to be chubby tensis or a juvenile megalodon. I'm going to reenact the discovery of this one. Oh shoot, never mind. Uh, not this one, that's a different tooth. I was walking down here just kind of trying to figure out where to go. And I'd say right here is a good place to go. Nice little Angustidens. I think it might be complete. Let's see. Woo! Okay, we've got a massive one here buried in the sand. Check out that guy. Just kidding. I was looking at this one and stared right over that one. Let's see if this little Meg is complete. Uh, nope, doesn't look like he is, but it's still a nice one going in the pouch. Check it out. This chubby tensis is just sitting there waiting for us. Boy, that is a really nice one too. I don't know if it's all there, but we're about to find out. All right, a nice little Meg. Looks like there's some pretty good uh, lightning stripes on the back from plant roots. All right, here's a good one. Let's see if he is complete. Yes, I say he is. All right, 